the show we want to do tonight, and people are phoning in already, it looks like they're loving it, yeah. is um, your club's most iconic moment. So, like, just an example, obviously Manchester City is the Aguero moment, right? Everyone's going to say that. We get that. Mm. What is your club's most iconic moment? That moment in history where you think, yeah, that's your club. That's what I want to know. 037172 Uh Let's go to Eddie. He's a Watford fan. All right, Eddie? All right, Ed. Evening, boys. How are you both? You all right? Edward, yes. Good, matey. Good, good, good. Yeah, we're all good, matey. Go on, I mean, look, what's, what is your what is the iconic moment for Watford? Right, I mean, we, we ain't got many, but we, the one that is obvious is the Watford Leicester playoff semi final oh, when we beat yeah. Leicester 3 1. Oh, my God. Yeah, unbelievable. That was unreal. That was unbelievable. I was there as well. And all I remember from that top was when Jan Franco Zola, obviously, Jason, you've been a Chelsea boy, Jan Franco mm-hmm. Zola fell over. Did I don't he's remember that. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> one little chap, he's gone, but no. He slipped over in excitement and all the fans were on the pitch. Oh, my God. That was unbelievable, boys. What, that's the best game I've ever been to by a country mile. Yeah. Well, the, if I remember rightly, Knockart obviously got the penalty, didn't yeah, he? But did. he dived, didn't he? Oh, didn't he dive? a terrible like decision. Potatoes, mate. Couldn't believe it. Yeah, yeah, Honestly, we, we absolutely ran ragged less than that game. All of a sudden, he gets a penalty. I think it was Michael Oliver who gave that penalty. And Munoz saved it twice, which I couldn't believe. And the next thing, now 30 seconds, Deeney, what a... Yeah, wallop. That's a great wallop. word, wallop. Yeah. Oh, well, Eddie, I... Eddie, we've got it, and we're going to play it out for you right now. You can relive that moment. Knockout takes, Almunia saves, knockout follows in, Almunia saves again. Absolutely astonishing. Now here come Watford. Forestieri. Here's Hogg. Scratch your eyes. You are really seeing the most extraordinary finish here. That, that actually gives me goosebumps. I've got goosebumps. Yeah, I've, I've actually got goosebumps. goosebumps. I've got goosebumps because you've got to see. I mean, hearing it's one thing, but the the the. the, the you know what, Ed, I'm going to let you explain the context to this because that penalty would have meant that Leicester go through if he scores knockout. Leicester go through at the final, right? Ed? It's like the 93rd minute or something. Yeah. Like really late on. Yeah. Not, not literally last kick of the game. And he dies like a sack of potatoes. Yeah. And he ends up missing twice. Yep. 20 seconds or so. What would score? The whole stadium yeah. erupted. Like I've never seen before. Yeah. It's just jubilation. <clears throat> and yeah. it, it was karma, I've got to say. And who would have thought three years later, boys? Give a bit of Leicester credit. They won the league three years mm, later. Who would have thought mm, that? Yeah, that, yeah man, that's unbelievable. Yeah, and you, th- you didn't go up, did you? You played no, the final, you lost. No, we lost 1 0 to Palace in one of the worst ever finals. It was awful. Nobody mm. talks about it because yeah. it was that bad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but that moment is, that goes down as etched in hitch- history, isn't it? I mean, what a moment oh, that yeah. is. Eddie, oh, top yeah. man, mate. I mean, that's that's exactly what we're looking for. Yeah. Uh, it, man, it, when, you, when you listen back to that, even mm. now, mm. I got goosebumps yeah, I instantly guess. thinking about it. Yeah, because just as as a footballer, imagine being in that moment. Well, living that moment. It, only I think only football does this. Really, you can go from one literally being on your knees, and within seconds you're up celebrating. That it's that's why it's the greatest mm. game in the world. What, what, what's your most? What's your clumps? Um, most I, iconic moment. I, I think it has to be uh, May 19, 2012. Go on, Bayern Munich, Didier. I think that that moment there is was it prob- a penalty, penalty, but the winning penalty in the Champions League final. Because if you remember, in two thousand and Don Terry slipped. Yeah, but Didier got sent off. He got sent off in the final. He slapped. I think Vidic was he slapped. He put his hand around his face. It's a slap. You know, he's a silly boy. He gets sent off, and what what that would have meant is that John Terry would not have taken that penalty because yeah, Didier would have taken mm. one of those first five. Yeah, I remember, Right? Yeah. Didier, um, JT slips. Yeah. I think Anelka takes the next... Anelka take the next penalty? Yeah, Anelka missed. And, uh. and, he, and he missed. And, and, and you know, win the Champions League. So then you fast forward to 2012 and all of a sudden the situation is what should have been, you know, a couple of years earlier. Um, but yeah, the most iconic, Mike, that, 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 that was just... Yeah. That was an insane game as well. Yeah. yeah. Was it? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, it's an iconic moment. Is there any others? I mean, there must be ones from from the eighties that Chelsea can, fans can come on and tell us about. What about the Mourinho one, you know, Mourinho. Well, yeah. I mean, Bolton away 
in 2005 when Chelsea win the first title in 50 years. Frank gets two goals, but Chelsea win 2 0 at, at the Reebok. What yeah. you, what's going on? No, what's I'm just trying to think about the Jose Mourinho, what, like running down the line and you know, that them was, moments. That was, that was that was when he was manager of Porto. No, I know, him, but he done it. He done it at Chelsea as oh, well. Oh no, he went when he shushed many Liverpool fans. <laughs> that was in 2005 in, in the in the um, in the in the because it the Carling Cup. I think it was the Carling Cup final in Cardiff, mm. 2005, when he goes running down the, and all the Liverpool fans were incensed, and then Gerrard scored an own goal. Yeah. I think Kesman scored. I think Didier scored. Mm. Uh, I mean, look, there's so many. I want to hear from uh, from you, though. Uh, your club, your most iconic moment in history. Uh, let's go to Colin, who's a Man United fan. All right, Cole. Hello, guys. How are you? All right, mate. Hi, How are you? I'm absolutely fabulous. Thank you very much. Nice to talk to you. Great oh, show. Pleasure. Thanks now, we know on. Man United have had some iconic yeah. moments. I mean, there's a... oh, but I've what is your? what do you think it is? I've been a supporter since 1963, been going out and watching them, and there's millions of them. But the biggest iconic moment was, without doubt, 1918, uh, 1999 and Solskjaer's goal to win as a treble. Yeah, I can uh, I can understand that. That is the first time the treble was, was done. Yeah. Well, we do, you're oh, happy, are you? I can tell. He's not, he's not having it. Oh, no, no, Hold no. Hold on, no, Cole. No, he's not having it. No, I'm having it. Of course I'm having it. But I, I kind of... I, I still kind of, the treble. No, I know it's still yeah. the trouble, but it wasn't. It was it. The, was it an unbelievable moment? Oh, man. But the, the, yeah, the, the well, game well, was a moment. But I, well, I look at Man United. I, I don't know. Maybe it's just me. The Giggs goal against Arsenal in the semi-final, or the Wayne yes. Rooney overhead kick. They're, they're, they're just great goals. But when you but the iconic that, moments when you think about a football yeah. club. When you say an iconic moment for United, I mean, an iconic, I could give you a low Bobby Charlton scoring, Ian Yord scoring at Anfield to win 1 0. Loads and loads and loads of them. I can go back a long way. And even up to date with, with uh, Rooney scoring against uh, this, well, the noisy neighbours. Yeah. But the, the, the thing that did it, we didn't have a kick. I, I remember I was in the pub with a lot of people, mm. had a few drinks, and uh, we didn't have a kick. And we weren't very good. And then all of a sudden, it's 1 all. Mm. And then. Bang, 2 1. We won the treble. Mm. And it's oh, man. Was, it, was, 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 was Roy Keane, was Roy Keane and Skulls suspended. suspended for they that were. game? They, they were, were weren't they? Suspended. Yeah. yeah. And Keane, yeah, yeah, didn't yeah. play. I remember, but, I, I, remember oh. I, watched, I watched it actually a couple of weeks ago. I don't know why. I, I watched it. You were terrible mm. in that game, Man United. Yeah. Yeah, yeah awful. Yeah. Oh, absolutely awful. We haven't had a kick. We looked no. like we were caught. It was a really sad day. And then all of a sudden. The beers flowed a pro. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, Colin, we've got the moment. Let's hear it. Are you sure? Let's see if we got it. It's a sharing up. What's the music about, lads? What's going that, on? That, you got that off a dog? What's going on here? Where are you, where are you nicking these from? <laughs> what Honestly, have you not got a database of iconic moments that you can just play out? Oh, look, Dom's having a chip nibble again. Look, he's having a nibble. No. I just make, get, just get make right. it out. He'll get one right before the end of the show. Don't well, let's worry. hope he gets one right. Colin, uh, top. Jamie, Go on, mate. Jamie, uh, you're in Walsall Friday. Yes, yep. and uh, Jason. Before you finish tonight, let us know where it all is. I live up the road and I'd like to come and have a beer. It's so Walsall Football you. Club. Yeah. Oh, right, brilliant. If what you go on their website, yeah, there's there's a table selling tables. I think. Yeah. I think there's still might be one or two tickets left. Yeah, it's gonna be what, a, it's what, gonna be a uh, bumper what, night. What time are you starting? Well, we'll be starting about half ten. In the... Depends <laughs> what time Jamie picks me up. <laughs> right, but I, I look, I look. Forward to it's in the evening. It's in the evening next evening. Friday. Get yourself down there, Carl. Yeah, Come say hello to us. Yeah, we'll do. All right, Cheers, top guys. man. All right, let's go to Dean. He's all right. He's uh, Dino's uh, a Liverpool fan. All right, Dean. Dino. Hello, lads. Nice to speak to you again. Yeah, top uh, man. Top man, Dean. Um, now, look, again, Liverpool, iconic moments. Been a few. What one is well, the one that stands out? I'll tell you what. Listen, I'll give you that, and then I'll give you a little... Um, a little... Uh, what's his name? To your dilemma for you, for you picking up Jason. Okay, yeah, that's Gordon, good. Yeah, that's good. Like that, yeah. Help me out. Help us out. The, the, most, the most iconic moment for me, 2004, 2005, Stephen Gerrard against Olympiacos, we needed to win by two oh, yeah. three goals. Yeah. But the, the commentary from Andy Gray is absolutely... Go on, give us it. Give us the comms, Dino. Well, don't ask uh, Dom to find it. Uh, Dom, 
Going... Get in there, you beauty! What a hit, son! Is that the one? What a hit, son! What a hit, son! You know what? That is an unbelievable moment, that. That is one that sticks out in the memory mm. bank. Let's hear it. Mella, lovely cushion header. Pajero! Oh, you beauty! What a hit, son! What a hit! Finally, some decent commentary. <laughs> Unbelievable moment that yeah. Dino. Would you say that's your most iconic moment? It's one that sticks out. Well, do you know what? The other one was obviously Barcelona. You know, three 0 down. We needed to win by four goals. Uh, Trent from the corner flag to Divock Origi, and yep. oh my god! <sighs> yes, I, mean, I mean that again, yeah. In, uh, what, what about the Champions League final when you're 3-0 yeah. down against AC yeah. Milan at half yeah. time? Is that, was, was that yeah. in Istanbul? Is it Istanbul? Is it is it's, it's, I'm sure it was Istanbul. Istanbul yeah, I mean, you know... It up, was Istanbul, yeah, against AC Milan, yeah. I mean, we'll, 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 let, a, fair, we'll let another fan, Liverpool fan yeah, bring that moment years, around they, because they've had a few yeah. big moments. The Gerrard one, though, yeah. that, that what moment... What about... Is Dean still there? What about Brucey Groblock? What's that? He's got a pet tiger. you got a llama in your car or what? What's going on? What was it? I'm driving my truck and it's got a, um, a lane thing, so... Your you truck? You sure you're not lane? driving a tractor? <laughs> <laughs> Do it again. Hold up. What? What was it? I won't do it. <laughs> what was it? Well, it is. When you cross a lane... Yeah. yeah it, it vibrates to let you right. know that you're... Right, right. Okay, maybe don't do it again then. Yeah, don't, don't maybe do don't. it again. Yeah. D- Dino, what about, what about Brucey Grobler doing his, uh, walking on his hands? I think that was in... Was that in Rome? I think, yeah, that again, Champions League, um, yeah. European Cup. European Cup. Well, the thing is, in the 2005, if you want to go back, when Jamie Carragher is talking to Jersey Dudek and he's saying to him, yeah, like, do... do your hands and yeah. all that... Yeah. The Sports Bar with Jamie O'Hara and Jason Cundy. Monday to Thursday nights from 10 on AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.